Hi everyone, I am Devapriya and you are watching Kanya Arjun Club. In this video, I will be exclusively covering the step-by-step -step process of Srinath's divine face where I have shared step-by-step -step process to create this beautiful face and the jewelry part of the Srinathji. In case you want to learn the background part, do leave us a message on the comment section below. I'll definitely try to make a small video on that part as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Here I have taken turquoise blue along with white and black color. So we will mix this three color together to create a shade like this. The ratio is 4 is to 2 is to 1. 4 portion of turquoise blue, 2 portion of white and 1 portion of black. Now I have added a very little amount of white color to the same shade and applying this color on the center part of the eye and blending it properly using a round brush. I am following the same process for the other side of the eyelid, covering it with a darker shade and then adding a little bit of white and blending it properly. Covering the brow bone part using the same darker shade and then I am adding little bit of white color to the same shade and applying it to the lower part of the brow bone. I am using the same brush to blend both the colors together. We need to follow the same process for the other side. I am applying the same darker shade on the corner and the lighter shade on the crease part. Blending both the shades together using a round brush. I am again using this darker shade to cover the corner part of the face. I am covering this much area and for the center part I am going to apply this lighter shade and then I'm using a dry flat brush to blend the color together. I have added some more white color to the lighter shade and applying it on the center part. Then again I'm using a flat brush to blend it with the previous shade. Now I'm again applying the darker shade on the corner areas. Applying the lighter shade on the chain part and again I'll be using a flat brush to blend this area. Applying the darker shade just under the nose and then I'm adding the lighter shade over the lips part and blending it properly. I'm following the same process for the other side of the face applying the darker shade on the corners and applying the lighter shade on the cheekbone area and then blending it using a dry flat brush. Nose and the forehead area I'm covering with the lighter shade of turquoise blue. Applying the same shade on the lips part. I have added some amount of black color to the darker shade. Now applying this shade on the corner of the eyes and on the center part I am applying the lighter shade. Now using a clean round brush to blend the color together. As you can see following the same process I have already covered the brow bone part of the eyes. I have applied darker shade on the top part of the brow bone area and lighter shade on the bottom part of the brow bone area. Then using a clean brush I have blended both the colors together. Applying the same darker shade on all the corner of the face to give an illusion of depth. And then I am going to use dabbing technique to blend the color like this using a flat brush. And this is how it looks after covering all the corners with the darker shade. Now for the lips part, I am applying the darker shade on the top part of the upper lip and lower lip. Then blending the color using a clean wet brush like this. In this video, I am just demonstrating the Mukhar Vrind or the face part of the Srinathji. And 
as you can see i have painted a beautiful background using lotus flower and leaves if you want a tutorial for the background design please leave a message in the comment section and i will create a small video in which i will share the tricks and techniques for creating such beautiful background applying black color on the hair using round brush number 4 applying dark turquoise blue on the neck part using round brush number 4 here i'm taking golden color you can use golden color from any brand applying golden color as a base coat using flat brush number 4 Okay, one tip here, you need to apply two to three layers of this golden color on each areas as the pigmentation of this golden colors are very less. Here I'm using golden color to cover all the jewelry part as a base coat. Covering the small teardrop designs using golden color. applying white color on the eye spot applying glue on the jewelry part and then i'm sticking this square shaped stones following the line now i'm using pearl metallic gold 3d outliner to outline the design sticking green color teardrop shaped stone and red color round shaped stone in the middle i'm drawing a floral design using 3d outliner around the stone applying black color on the eyeball part drawing the eyes with black color using brush number 00 drawing some circle design on the head gear outlining the paisley and the stone using 3d outliner applying dots on the outer line to create a border design I have used white glass marker to draw few designs on the golden part. Now I'm outlining those design using 3D outliner and also framing the stones like this. Placing teardrop shaped stone inside the design and framing them using 3D outliner. To decorate the jewelry part, I'm using various design stone such as teardrop shape, round and square shape. However, you can use any design that is available at your end. As you may have observed that I'm mostly using two color stone for the jewelry part, red and green, but you can also use white and gold stones or half pearl beads to decorate the jewelry. For the earring part, here I'm using the jali pattern. marking the center point using glass marker pencil sticking a stone framing the stone using 3d outliner and drawing a floral design around it now drawing some circle pattern on the necklace so there is no such hard and fast rule that you have to follow the same pattern that i'm doing you are free to explore try something new practice and make your own design framing this teardrop shape mirror in this way and again drawing another small teardrop design inside it following the same design for this side creating a jali pattern like this sticking a round shape red color stone framing it with 3d outliner and surrounding it with a floral design adding some different patterns to fill this area here i'm taking glass color in two shade red and green i'm using this two color on certain areas to give the jewelry a rich effect as you can see i'm alternately using this two colors to enhance the jewelry's visual appeal This designs are mainly inspired by Kundan Meenakari jewelry. I personally like this jewelry pattern where I can use such vibrant colors. As you can see, I'm using dot painting tool to apply this glass color. You can either pour the color directly from the bottle or you can use either brush or dot painting tool like this to spread the color.
I'm using this two color red and green alternatively to fill the jewelry part like this. Here I'm again using 3D outliner, applying dots like this to create a border for the necklace. Drawing the tilak using vermilion hue shade, outlining the tilak with golden color. Now I'm using red color 3D outliner to draw this teardrop design on the earring part. I'm again using this teardrop pattern on the necklace part. Sticking some glittered stone to elevate the final look of the jewelry. Now adding few dots on the paisley design on the headgear part. Again using a glass marker to mark the center. Now following the center point we'll start applying dots like this to fill this area. Okay, so one small tip here. First of all, you need to make sure to follow a sequence while applying these dots and the top dot has to be the smallest. Gradually, as you can see, I'm increasing the size of the dots as we go down. This design will give a pearl jewelry kind of look on the neck part. I'm adding a line of small dots around the ornament pattern to make the jewelry look more polished. Adding these white dots on the headgear part following the line. I have applied four lines of dots to cover this area. Also applying some small dots on the earrings part to enhance the look. If you notice, these lines of white dots instantly elevate the aesthetic of the jewelry. The jewelry designs are incomplete without these white dots and these dots are doing really wonders. I'm surrounding this small small ornament patterns with a line of white dots like this. I'm also covering the outer part of the paisley using this small small dots. Here I'm again applying a line of white dots around this teardrop shape on the necklace part. Applying a small dot on the forehead. Now applying a big size dot with red color on the center of the nose and then surrounding that red dot with white dots. Following the same process, we'll make a same design on the chin part. Now, drawing a nose pin using golden 3D outliner and on the center, I'm adding some red color. Adding few dots to enhance the look. Applying golden color on the inner border part using flat brush number 6. Here I'm taking crimson and applying this shade on the outer border of the painting. I'm using flat brush number 6 to apply this crimson shade here. And this is how it looks. Isn't it looking beautiful? If you think the video was worth watching, then please do subscribe to my channel, like and share with your friends. And don't forget to leave a message on the comment section if you want me to make a small video on the background part. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.